Hi, I'm Nathan Foy. And I'm Strat Becker. Will it be fun and games or all-out war? Foy and Strat on Ahoy, it's Foy. Yes, that's right. Where are we? We're here, live. We're live, Strat. Can you believe it? We're doing a live event at long last. And it says Uh, there's three people walking. One of those is me. Oh, there's a bell just on my computer because the market closed. Uh, Well, first of all... (laughs) Uh, don't laugh all at once, everyone, but look at Strat tonight. <laughs> Shut up. Look, look. I, I I have a reason to explain this. Should I, should I just go Please. ahead and get it out of the way? Yep. Definitely. So, Saturday, um, after work, you know, uh, my mom's driving. She picks me up from work. We had to pick up my twin sister from Starbucks with a friend. And I see her outside the window with her friend. They're both looking down at one of their phones, presumably watching something. And I'm like, oh, this is the perfect time to get a good old jump scare. So I go slowly up at first, but I have a bad angle. So I'm assuming that, oh, I'm going to be caught up here, and they're going to see me. So I take the last few steps really quick, but what I didn't see was that the floor is just mopped, and they didn't put up the caution sign. So I go, I slip, and I go flying across the Starbucks floor. Everyone stops and stares at me for a second. Then my sister <laughs> How many bursts people was out that? laughing. <laughs> then my sister bursts out laughing and everyone around me just starts laughing their asses off at me cool that's great and the one guy that was working there was like oh shit i might get in trouble because i didn't put down like the caution sign because if you get hurt like that <laughs> you can actually sue and stuff yeah definitely like, nah, dude i'm fine it was just really funny all right strat we're talking about a few things tonight um now are those of you who have been watching some of our pre-recorded streams in the past uh, we'll know about the sort of things we've been discussing here. Look at Strat, he's just outrageous. <laughs> um, you know, uh, this is a this is a, a Force 13 free zone. Um, we talk about pretty much anything that comes up to us and anything that is Yeah, other than the us. sticker on my fridge. Uh, yeah, the sticker on your fridge. We've spoken a lot about mental health in recent weeks, Strat. Um, yes, It's we something have. that me and you both have... Uh, have dealings with at least qualms yes qualms as well all right well um uh should we go straight on to this first feature or uh i, I think we could i think we could i'm just looking at it just means that you're this. you're put out of the stream for a few minutes whilst we uh all right, pick that, up this pre-recorded okay. I piece just, i just see myself on the live stream with like my hat covering my eyes you know i'm like one of those like characters from like a movie or something that's like abducted or like controlled by the aliens Yes. Uh, so, I'm th- those zombie. those who don't know, uh, there's been some sort of um, uh, there's been a sort of furore recently in the UK in the last two days about um, autism and ADHD, and uh, those who are diagnosed with either of those having to uh, having to fill out some forms if they're going to continue to drive. Strap. Really. Yes. Uh, that is something you know a, a form that, that says hey do, do you have seizures regularly due to your medication or do you drink alcohol to excess regularly and things like that um, well things happen quite quickly today because there's been a massive you know uh, backlash against it and now the uh, authority have reversed the decision but more about this discussion that I had just earlier on with Amanda uh, see what you guys think of this Okay, so uh, now we're going to be talking about what's been going on in the news recently, particularly over here in the UK. Um, Obviously because I've told you this before, I think, during our uh, shows that I myself am on the autism spectrum, and that's been uh, in the the news recently when it comes to driving. Um, I've got on the line now, this is a very strange way of doing it. Um, I'm going to show your face, actually, Amanda. This is Amanda here, who is... On my, uh, on, on Facebook, through Facebook right now, but for some reason we can't get hooked up to the computer at the minute, so we've got it on my phone. So, uh, Amanda, you're with ONES, which is a, uh, organization near me, which is for autism as well in Warrington. I'm giving you a free plug there. Yeah, thank you. Um, what did you think of this issue when it came up, and could you, could you explain a bit more about what it actually is? Okay, well... First of all, I didn't believe it. I thought it was a bit of a hoax. Um, I found out, it was on social media, that um, anyone on the autism spectrum 
um, has to inform the DVLA that uh, of a diagnosis, Did... um, mm -hmm. which uh, seemed really unbelievable to begin with. Um, and then it was confirmed by the National Autistic Society um, and it was only found out by them by fluke because someone had contacted them um, they'd contacted the DVLA and um, there was wording on there before about um, uh, they only had to contact DVLA if it affected their driving and those words have been taken away now. So there's going to be a thousand pounds fine for anyone that has not informed DVLA now, Amanda, that they are autistic. I wanted to bring this to your attention because uh, it's been a rapidly moving story throughout today. In the last yeah. hour or so, this has got about a 30 minute delay on what when it's actually going to air, but in the last hour, about 8 p.m., uh, they actually reversed the decision, the DVLA. Um, oh! So they have actually changed it back. It does still, uh, it also did affect ADHD as well. And as far as I right. saw, they still haven't reversed the wording for ADHD at the minute, but that may have changed by the time this goes to air. Right, okay. Well, I, I've been in work and not known that they've reversed mm. it. I've just signed a petition, so hopefully yes. the fact that lots of people are um, really um, dismayed about it, I mean... To be honest, I would say um, we all have to pass a driving test and if we are not up to the standard of driving, then we would not be able to pass that test. <laughs> well, that, that um, was what I thought. Uh, some people who have been arguing the opposite case say things like, you know, the things that are on that form, talking about the potential for seizures and things like that and how it should be, you know, because that's one of the questions on the sheet. You know, with autism? Yeah, with medication and things like that, you know. Um, and... Oh. But but my argument, even if, if that was the case, uh, just to show you, I'm still talking to Amanda, there she is. Um, if, that is the, if that was the case, though, that would have to, you know, everyone, regardless of whether they're on the autistic spectrum or not, would have to report that kind of thing. Of course. Um, I, I've been autistic all my life. I only got the diagnosis last year. I was put on um, probably wrong medication previously, right. um, but none of that medication um, affects driving. And if anything else, um, my driving, I, I drive um, particularly careful to, to the um, speed limit, and I probably frustrate a lot of drivers <laughs> um, because I do stick to the, the speed limit. I think it's those others that probably need to kind well. of contact DVLA speeding round me yeah, just to clarify to people watching who, who may not be aware of what happened they originally changed the wording to say that you must fill out a form if you're on the spectrum or potentially face Before. a thousand pound fine um, and, and now tonight they've changed it back to apparently what it was before which is if it is likely to have a serious impact on your driving mm. I think that was some, pretty much what yeah. the wording was there so do you think this chapter is over or do you think there's more to come um, well I think it's ruffled a lot of people's feathers and it just shows you how important um, being explicit and wording is I mean we are kind of uh, I suppose us on the spectrum are um, accused of um, kind of communication difficulties however I feel mm. as though <laughs> those on the neuro those that are neurotypical um, are, aren't very kind of clear on how to explain things I mean it's caused a lot of upset for a lot of people and it's not um, surprising really because some you know this is affecting people who have been driving for decades and all of a sudden yeah, you know I'm past 18 I've never had an accident and because I got my diagnosis um, last year then all of a sudden I need to let them know it's 
ludicrous, really. <laughs> Um, finally, do you want to talk a, uh, give a little mention to what you do About at what? Wands on my stream yes. right now? I'll, yeah. I'll let you talk to the camera there. I think we can manage that, just. Aye. Um, so we are a peer support group. Um, it was actually set up by a, a chap called Mike Hewitt, um, who set it up about, probably about two years ago now. Um, and recently, uh, both myself and Anne, have um, kind of uh, took it in a different direction. Um, we are based in a community centre in Warrington, uh, Fairfield and Howley. We're there every Thursday between seven and nine, and we're there for everyone that feels as though they don't quite fit in. You don't have to have a diagnosis. Um, you can just come along. Um, if you feel as though you're the black sheep or... <laughs> You just don't quite um, rub along with society. You're more than welcome in our group. Um, we have, um, on the first of the month, we have parent support groups for those that have children that they may feel as though are on the spectrum. On the uh, group, we have like a art, therapeutic art session. Uh, on the fourth, we uh, deliver autism friend awareness uh, autism awareness sessions um, but each um, Thursday uh, there's a, a we call it the Neurodiverse Cafe yeah. there's free tea and coffee and biscuits um, small charge for cans of chocolate um, but um, and there's lots of different activities there if you like to play Scrabble or do a jigsaw <laughs> or play with fidget toys we've got it all there colouring and all the rest of it everything you, you could ask for to, well, yes, we think so. But we all, you will get a warm welcome. But if you want to come and sit in a corner and not talk to us, that's fine too. There we go. We well, force you. Sorry. Sorry, I was just saying we wouldn't force anyone into a you know an awkward kind of situation, but... That's, that's us, that's Wands. Well, that's Amanda Wood at Wands. Thank you very much for that, and I'm sure you'll appreciate the uh, international plug tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Nathan. Thanks very See much. See you later. So there we are. Strat, your thoughts? I mean, it makes total sense. I, I At least um, in America, in my state, I haven't ever heard of any instance where you need to like fill out tests or certain forms because of a mental disability. Well, well you see, or uh, disability really. The, the the thing about this is, is if there's going to be anything like that, it it should occur on your actual driving test. What about that? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> so it's like, oh, they already know. Like, oh, they know my health records, anyways. They have my health insurance. It's it's like, oh, well, <laughs> you're getting your license. You know, it's like whether or not you need glasses. I have my glasses over there. I'm true, just too true. lazy to put them on right now because I don't need them for this distance. So that's one big subject that's on the agenda tonight, which we've pretty much covered there. Uh, if you've got any comments about that, people watching right now, I don't know who's watching right now. It could be absolutely anyone. Please get engaged, and we'd love to facilitate your comments. Yeah. Um, speaking of um, frustrations, frustration. Uh, I got a letter in the mail today. Uh oh. From the Connecticut, from the state of Connecticut. And I was like, is this what I think it is? Because last May, for my uh, U U.S. Gov final, I had to craft a letter and send it to my congressman about an issue, and I sent it. And I got this, what was it, this is March, so nine months later, and I'm like, oh my god, I <laughs> finally got it back. This guy finally responded after nine months. And no, it, it's from a different part, it's from the state instead of like the federal level. It's like, oh, thanks for voting, buddy, I saw you're <laughs> from the town I'm from. Make sure to check out all these beautiful things in the area. Wonderful. And I'm like, F you. <laughs> Did we just hear that? <laughs> What's going yeah, on said, over there? F you. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, Wait. that's something new, folks. <laughs> that's how you censor things properly. We don't. This is. We don't need what they call. Uh, you just. You just pants my bed not being made. God damn it, Nathan. Yes, your bed isn't made as usual. Uh, so this is the kind of place, basically, the Foy and Strat show. We just have a lot of fun, and we do cover serious issues like that. We get people on the phone if we can, like we did with Amanda. Um, and I think that was quite an interesting uh, interview. Yeah. Uh, um, but 
And you, d d would you go as far as to say it's a form of discrimination if they've done it for one subgroup and not everyone? Yes. Right. I, even if it's unintentional, it is. Uh, it's the stigma. And they're using it against people, and that's not fair. Okay, well, uh, what were we going to move on to next? Uh, completely forgotten now. <laughs> Enlighten me. <laughs> Enlighten me. We've got a whole uh, hour to spend talk about here. Professionalism? Were we? I think, yeah. I was going to talk about work and stuff. Speaking of work, uh, I had a snow day today, which was nice. But it was really good because I clocked in over $400 on a single trade. Snow it day, and day. If, you, if you're hearing uh, in the earlier interview, you could possibly hear the uh, rain falling in the background. That's the kind of day we've had here. Obviously, no surprise yeah, given well, the country take we're this in. Let me camera quickly and go outside. Look, it's a winter wonderland. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, so what, what happened earlier today basically was um, I was up $1,000, right? I was up $1,000. Here we go, Strat talking about his money it. again. And I had to go out shovel snow because no, I to, no, I, no. When, this is, when this is done, I have to go um, take my sister out and I needed to clear the driveway so I could drive. I come back in, lo and behold, I'm up $400 and I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> First like, world problems right there, folks. Well, I think I saved for college, you know? But it, it's just like, uh, you know, I know what happened, too. You know, I know what happened, too, in retrospect. The market tanked. You know, we were expecting, hoping it could get to $2 a share. And it just ta it just tanked after that point because U.S.-China stuff got to investors as a whole, and people freaked out, and then there wasn't enough bids, and the volume was too low, and it went down. Are you quite done? Yeah, it was a good time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, Strat, uh, I think we're going to be. Uh, this is going to be sort of a pertinent question the whole stream through. Uh, what's underneath that hat? Is it because you didn't make your hair today? N no, my hair is usually made, but uh, I, I already explained. I think I already explained. Pardon the phrase. Like, <laughs> seeing my si I was when I was picking up my sister from a Starbucks. Uh, I was trying to jump scare her, and I walked. Yeah, you, you said that one already. Yeah, that's why it's there. Because I fell and I hit myself. Because of the cut on your nose. Yeah, it's like up here because I fell on my face. Is that the only place you got cut? Yeah. It's hardly It doesn't hidden. look good, but... Well, why don't you just take the hat off? Because everyone can see it now. Ah, oh, I don't want it to be there. <laughs> it's Strat hiding his hairline. What? Someone just commented saying it's Strat hiding his hairline. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's so else accurate. Keep those comments coming in. That's great. <laughs> Fantastic. Look, my hairline is absolutely stunning, okay? You know, I need I actually need a haircut. Uh because I put in some product the other day and not only did it like knot up my hair a lot, what also happened was is that my hair was stuck up. It was like shoot up. It was like this far up. How how high is this? It it was like this far up, basically. That's really high. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I need a haircut. I also need to schedule my next therapist appointment, so should I do that right now? <laughs> Live on the air? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, folks, I think this is the first time we've ever seen someone book a therapist appointment live on the air. Uh, goodness knows what Foy and Strat's going to turn into in the future. But the thing is, you can help sure. us decide which way we move in the future. Um, because... Oh, you really... <laughs> <laughs> you believe this guy? Strat making history. Hell yeah, that's what we're talking about. We have reached Dr. Jim Wagner and Dr. Andrew Wagner. After the beep, please oh. indicate which one of us you're calling and your They're call will be returned as soon as possible. Thank you. Hey, Jim. Um, it's Strat. I just uh, wanted to call because I wanted to set up my next appointment. Um, I, I think we forgot to do that last time, unless we did and I just forgot about it. So I wanted to make sure. Um, because if it's Don't tomorrow, it. Wednesday, my mom is not around. I have to drive myself, so I wanted to set it up. Uh, hope to be back, hear back soon. Um, I'm actually in a podcast right now, so this is kind of inconvenient, but I'm doing it anyways. So, uh, if you call back in the next 40 minutes or so, that's amazing. You'll, you'll, you'll get a free shout-out. Take care, man. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> you'll get a free shout-out. No, he won't. Behold yeah, yeah, I'll give, no, I'll give him won't. 
I'll give him clout if you're in my area. He's this got is a great totally... therapist right here. All right, well, that's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I don't really know where we go from here, to be honest. <clears throat> well, let's talk about professionality. Cause we'll you know, also, hey, we'll, we'll also get a piano performance towards the end of tonight's stream as well. Uh, live from Force 13 HQ, courtesy of me. Uh, please don't play that blasted harmonica this time, though. No promises. Yeah, so well. So it's strat selling out to everyone. I only sell out to the good people. Uh, no, I, I think that's true. Strat is selling out to everyone. Professionality, no, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, you know, in a professional setting, like in a work setting or presentation, uh, etiquette, acting properly, behaving, uh, doing your job. You know, like, I work at my local tennis place at the front yeah, desk. Yeah, and so. uh, you might, might remember two and a half years ago when you first joined Force 13, your etiquette wasn't that good, was it, Strat? We don't need to talk about that. That was a dark time. That was a dark, dark time. That was right before the hiatus. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, so... But it, I was a 15-year-old squeaker. Of course my etiquette wasn't as good back then. You weren't that much of a squeaker, but you still managed to interrupt everyone. Well, you know, stuff happens. There's always a crisis. A great man once said that. And that man is Jeb Bush. He's also the guy that said, please clap. Someone said, yeah, Strat, you're making my eye ears bleed with that harmonica. If you do it again, you'll be hearing from my lawyer. Parenthesis, JK, maybe. Parenthesis. No, no, forget JK. It's definitely happening. Wait, what? What? what the, there's grammar. I don't understand what he's saying, though. The grammar's completely out of wonk here. Strat, <laughs> you're... You're making, not you are making. Oh, dear. Strat's now nitpicking every... Here's the moment, folks, the watershed moment. It didn't take that long. Where Strat has now turned on the viewers. Ah, oh, yes. That always happens All on right. the Force 13 streams. All right, guess, guess the storm. Where do we no, go? We're need, no, we're not. No, we're we bloody hell. We're scene? not doing that. Okay, okay. What do you think no, this no. is? It's a game show, obviously. <laughs> no, uh, someone, oh, someone said... Uh, we are doing great, Alcabell. How are you doing? What? Oh, he's asking how we're doing? Yeah. Great. Um, well, we're doing all right. I mean, uh, I've, I've had a... a... You know, I got to shovel snow today. Then I, my sister also forced me to do some ab workout with her, and I, I couldn't do it. My abs are steel, but, like, I can't handle the endurance workout. Oh, we're going to get to see the slap boxing tonight. Oh, I don't know if it's on the YouTube channel, but I can show it on my phone. Yes, folks, you, you heard it right here now? first. Strat slap boxing. We'll get onto that in a little while. We want to save our goodies for later. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, my day started out at about uh, what time? I think I got up at 11 o'clock, something like that. Uh, uh, just another update. I think uh, T Series did not overtake PewDiePie again for those that are curious about that. Okay, then. I really have never understood that at all. There, I know there's some people in the chat that are probably interested about that, so... Or oh, found that interesting Perhaps. in the slightest, but there you go. Um, so, I, I spent... I actually did some filming today, Strat. Um, it's, it was my third interview, and it's the first one that I've done solo on behalf of one of the people at the council. Um, so I did a solo interview. I interviewed a quite nervous uh, lady who... Um, who had a, a child who went through, um, you know, the, the local services, what they offer for yeah. people growing up, right? So we had a little yeah, discussion so. um, on camera, the third interview that I've done, and those three interviews, tonight I'm going to be editing them, so I'm even busier tonight, and then tomorrow they're actually going to be presented at a, uh, at a sort of, not really a conference, but a, uh, a get-together tomorrow morning very early <laughs> very early 9 30 in the morning that is not like me at all um so i'm going to be there and that's going to happen and then and then the thing is people for 13 fans i'm afraid i'm going to have to let you down uh tomorrow i'm busy all day uh wednesday i'm busy all day thursday i'm busy all day so <laughs> Wait, very let's much see what's going my to be schedule happening. um I'm busy all day tomorrow because I have to drive my sister around because my mom is in Las Vegas. 
uh, Wednesday, I have to study for my statistics test because we're a third of the way done with the course. All right. Thursday. What's the test. What's the probability that you'll pass? A hundred. Is that statistically proven? Out of a hundred and one. <laughs> what? There's a hundred out of a hundred one chance that I get at least a sixty. There's something. a one hundred out of one hundred and one chance that you'll get a sixty. Yeah. Excellent. At least a sixty. So that's ninety nine point one percent. Yeah, something like that, I think. <laughs> So like, oh, I get up at five thirty. Look, I had a sn you shouldn't come. On. I had a snow day today. I'm always sleep deprived, you know, because I never get to eat breakfast, so I don't have proper energy. I had a snow day. I should have been sleeping until ten o'clock, twelve. Oh, here I we go. I woke up at six thirty in the morning to get my trade in today to make that money. Okay. Money again. Yeah. Wake up early. Use Wait a minute. Your Wait a minute. Just stop right there. I have seen something. What? I have seen something. What? <laughs> You have a TARDIS in your room. Of course I do. I had the adipose too. Do you know what that right means? What? You've got something in common with Craig Fisher. Oh no, I'm about to let my football anger out. No, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get sued. <laughs> my football anger's been released to the next level. <laughs> We could do Force 13 member impressions, what the hell? I just threw a water bottle. We could do Force 13 member impressions, but that might be a little yeah, look, bit I got I got the Addy Post crude. up there too, do you see it? A bit crude. What's up there? I got the Addy Post too from the Doctor Who episode. It's a, a little bit. like person blob thing. Oh yeah. They're actually just Just about on our screen there. Uh what what the, what is the rest of that junk in your room? Uh, let's see. On the uh, we're taking a look around Strat's the, room again. On top of the fridge, we got a tissue box for whenever I'm sick, which uh, is often. Because, yeah, and you know, especially this time of year, because when I have to shovel, I get like the sniffles all the time. And there's your uh, unmade we bed. We got a cash jar. Unmade uh, bed. Like, yeah, it just. Uh, <laughs> we, we we got the cash jar, uh, which is just like cash. That's She's full of bed. Strat's cash. Yes. Got like two hundred dollars in there. Uh, we got a football signed by a New York Giants player. Yeah. Uh, to Mukamar. He's the Giants are my favorite football team, so it's pretty dope. Uh, we have here. Let me let me get let me get two other things that I like a lot. Hold up. Oh my yeah. god. All right. While Strat's doing that, I just want to point out that we had a massive eleven people watching just a few minutes ago. Please spread the word. We're really pleased to have had eleven people watching. Okay, so we're back. Strat, are you happy? And we got three things. One Strat, is we. Strat, have... wait, are you happy? We had eleven people watching us a minute ago. Oh, that's a beautiful. There you go. That's a great first Shirley start Foy, of our is that stream. Your mom or grandma? Huh? Shirley Foy was in the stream. Is that your mom or grandma? Shirley Foy. Hello. Yeah. Who's she? She just left. No, she's not grandma. Who's no. that? She, she's one is of our relatives. She's one of our relatives. Oh. Goodbye, Shirley. And family. Nice gone. to see you, Shirley. Shirl. <laughs> okay, so he here's here's what we um here's what we got. So we got the uh we got the emoji uh stuffed thing. Oh boy, here we go again. Dope. Uh so that that's cool. We got a yep. another miniature TARDIS. Uh this one, if you like pull back and like wait, I don't have any room here, it'll actually rotate. Like it'll when you get let it go, it'll like spin. <laughs> I just, I, hear, thought, I just thought it was funny when the only thing we could see on the screen was your hat. And here, here's my favorite thing is, we have I'm a talking hat! Here. We have all of these papers here. This is all of my financial information of all the trades More I've made. More financial in information. This guy is crazy. All of the trades I've made in the last three years are inside this folder. And where, where's the one that I put the wow symbol on? Hold up, hold up. What? The wow, wow symbol. symbol. Yeah, okay, it's not this one. Not this one. Alright, shall we, uh... Look, commenters... <laughs> commenters right now, please, I implore you, anything that gets straight off this topic, please. Some, someone it's come up with something. Important. Immediately, please. We need you no, now no, more no, than ever. Okay. We can take our this time. is a really very dark this. moment in the history of Foy and Strat streams. Um... Gidria oh, says not. that you're not a Wall Street financier chap. Not yet. Not yet. Olga Belt says hashtag ban strat. 
Hashtag ban no, strat. No, you can't ban me from my own podcast. Where, uh, where, where, well, I could ban oh, you I found from it. your I found own it. podcast. Here we go. Look, look. He ignored me. Look at, wow. Because I made like 220% on one trade, so I circled it when I got in the mail, and I said, wow. It, it reminds me of that alien communication thing, you remember? <laughs> uh, what was it called? Whatever happened in the 70s when someone found some... The wow signal? The wow signal. Yeah, there's the wow, there's Strat's wow signal. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me get a wow sound. Just a good sound effect for that. Oh, this is a good one. Shirley just called you Strat. <laughs> oh! Yes, well done. It's Strat. S -T -R -A -T, well done. Like the guitar. It's Strat. Shirley. <laughs> Don't talk to Shirley like that, Strat. Wait, is this it? Hold on. Yes, here we go. This is this is this is the sound effect for my for my money. Uh oh. <laughs> what in hell's name? It's like a Japanese wow. Hashtag ban strat is now a thing, strat. No! Oh guys, <laughs> your aunt just made a new they're gonna go over to like other chat servers and spread this now, I swear. She totally has. I'm wait I'm waiting like the off topic chat rooms in certain places. I'm just waiting for that to pop up now, because I know they're gonna <laughs> So sorry. Oh she's so apology. don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. No, it's okay, it's okay. Nova Place but... says in my country you have to go strat to the point. Hey. <laughs> no, don't worry, I've this had lots of people call me Stuart before. Or start Stuart. start is the word. Stuart. Norway Okay, for anyone here that knows this, Norway tracking calls me Start. He thinks my name is Start. And I'm like... <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Yep. That makes me want to get my football anger out of him. Football anger! Um, <laughs> so to reiterate what our headlines are this hour on the Foy and Strat stream, you'll be able to catch up with it later on. You probably can right now, actually. We started this hour by talking about uh, what's been going on here in the UK. Uh, those who have ADHD or on the autism spectrum. Uh, the DVLA in the UK, which is, you know, the people who gives people driving licenses, um, said that, you know, now now they all have to fill out a form that says, uh, that you know, fill out this checklist. One of the questions is, um, you know, are you likely to have seizures resulting from medication? Are you likely to drink too much alcohol regularly? Um, <laughs> things that like is, that. Um, that's a bit iffy there. Um, uh, and uh, they've backpedaled on that a little bit, and now they're saying instead of you must do that or face a one thousand pound fine, they're now saying that um, it, that you should do it. That you should fill out the form if it if the condition could be a serious threat to uh, to your driving, which I think is fair because that should be the case for anyone that poses a serious threat to driving for any yeah. reason, Strat. Um, but you know, I mean, you can't do anything like this. And, and if you were, it would have to be blanket across everyone. Maybe, you know, I think a lot of people would be happy if everyone had to fill out that form before a driving test, right? That that would be acceptable. Um, maybe, yeah. maybe it's giving too much information to the, to the authorities, but I don't know. But it's more acceptable than, you know, them picking and choosing as they've just tried to do today. There was a massive backlash on social media, and I don't know whether that was the result, whether that's what caused the U-turn or, or whether... It, you know that they just read probably it must have been must have been, really. actually listens a little bit to people i think uh, that was a uh, terrible voice crack. that was <laughs> i think god almighty we talked a lot about mental health as well last week and i don't know yeah if that, you that was talk... a whole topic and then the week before we had hotson we had hotson <laughs> Bit hot on the show. Who knows who we're going to have next week? Anything else on mental health that you want to touch on tonight, Strat? Because if not, uh, we'll move on. Well, I mean, we already went through the whole mental health thing about me scheduling my therapist appointment as well. You know, we got the call. Oh yeah, as we'll, well we'll wait and see if he's got a if we get a. Um, we got twenty seven minutes left for a call. Oh my god, this hat is so itchy. Oh my <laughs> god, itchy hat. Strat the hat. No, don't rhyme. <laughs> don't rhyme. Oh, do we do we want to show the slap boxing now? Okay, this this is too uncomfortable. Yay! There he is. Oh, he looks terrible tonight. Ah. Oh. All right. Well, let's get the slap boxing video up. <laughs> Itchy strat. That's a good one. I I I absolutely destroyed this guy. This is the highlight of my life. This is shocking. It's it's pretty yeah. terrible. But we're gonna let Strat show it because it's you know it's Strat's day and uh, moment in the sun. Hold up, 
I may or may not be shirtless in this as well, so... Excuse me? I may or may not be shirtless in this as well, so... Shirtless strap! Yeah! Alright, hold on, hold on. Alright, are you ready? Oh boy, here we go. Are you ready for this? Uh, oh my god, what I'm the fighting the dude in the red. It? When was this? This is over the summer. Last summer. Yeah, I'm about to clock him. Look at this. Ugh! Up a bit, Strat. I hit him so hard that he said his arm was out of his socket. He gave up. <laughs> That's me yelling in victory. This is outrageous. Wait, wait, there's another one too, but I got him good again. Here we go. <laughs> Is this it? Yeah, this is it. I think we're gonna have to do a poll afterwards saying, "Are you convinced by slap boxing Strat?" Buzz Strat, <laughs> he's just—you're so small, by the way. Yeah, I know. That's why it was hard because everyone has a height. Of... That's my. That's what, my perfect. What is form. that? That's my fighting form. <laughs> Here we go, here we go! <laughs> I destroyed him! I totally Are you der okay? deranged a squirrel right there. Are you okay? On the attack, he'll fight to the death for his nuts. Um, <laughs> this is just ridiculous. All right, How well, is that ridiculous? That shows my pure fighting prowess. Uh, uh yeah. That shows my combat skills. Like, look at these guns, dude. <laughs> Do we have to? <laughs> oh yeah, totally. All right. Um, <laughs> Olga Belt says I challenge Strat to a slap boxing match. Wait, where is that? Right now. Oh, I'll go back. All right. Let's do it, Strat. Look Come like on. A football player, but can't even barely know how to make a. Th you know what? Let's do it. You come to America, I will personally seek you out, come up behind you, clock you in the head so hard that you Yeah, that's no if you don't slip and fall on your face, Strat. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try. Well, okay, we'll be on a beach, so I don't have to worry on about it. On a beach. <laughs> um, Force 45 says, starts fighting, looks like a cat. Change my mind. Meow. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Nah. Nah, look, I, I, you got it, you got it ready. What are you doing? Oh no. Uh, I'm showing off some punches. Yeah. See, it, slap boxing's different than regular fighting. That's the thing. You can't actually do full clock hits, because we, if we did that, we would have gotten kicked out. <laughs> cool. Oh, hey, it's the 11 year old Roblox kid that didn't like me. What? Yeah, Strike on Rodriguez. He protect, he attack. I beg your pardon. It's the 11 year old Roblox kid. Is it? I don't know. Yeah. Jucker Rodriguez, you don't remember him? Used to me. Um. <laughs> now, what was I going to say now? What a You've great time, and eat this happiness in my <coughs> life here in English class. You've thrown me off now. Or as Michael Scott would say, you've thrown me right off, Nathan. Um, do, do you want to do any Force 13 member impressions, Strat? <laughs> okay, guess not. <laughs> oh, not that one. God damn it, not that one. And, Strat, we'll have no one left watching if you keep doing that. And, if you want to be on one of our shows in future on Foy and Strat to talk about anything that's close to your heart, then we'd be really happy to have you on live next Monday night. Let's see, uh, who else am I, uh, who else do I think of? Well, we got, uh, we got all my no, here. That, that, that's, my, like, that's my department right looks there. Looks like it's going to try to... Form again in the coral sea after dissipating eight days ago. This this it is. Might have a child sire. I'm not quite sure though. You know something, Strat. Uh, this is something we're going to have to do in the future. Force thirteen impressions. Force thirteen member impressions. And this is going to become so memeable that everyone around the world is going to be pretending to be some of our members. So can you do a Nelson Mayer? Oh, uh, Strat, you're so uninteresting. Like, wow, you're so terrible. Oh, wow, look at your sister. She's so much cooler than you. How are you twins? How are you related? She's so great. You're terrible, Strat. That's oh, my fantastic. sister heard the... Darren, I'm on a podcast! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, she's coming. She's coming? Yes! Come on! Let's get Strat in trouble. I'm on a podcast!
Hello, Strat and Sister. You know, come on. You're live. There's there's 14 people watching. You're live. Oh, we were talking. No, we were talking a character. We were talking imitation people that we know. And one of them is someone that always insults me. You talk about how we relate. How we related. So I look so. Oh crap! I've just plugged myself out here. Jesus, sir, come on, come on, say hello to the viewers. No, come on, say hi from a distance. She said hi from a distance. Strat's in so much trouble. No, she doesn't care. She's she was smiling. She's laughing. Hashtag get Strat in trouble. No. Over dramatic sister in the comments there. Whoa, no, no, no. Don't you see? All right, King Lucaria says, Some people say my voice sounds like me. Uh, all right, all right Jack, then. Jack, well, you're getting, you're getting timed out, Jack. I'm. So, oh, wait, I can't time people. You're replacing a mod. Ha ha, yes. I run I this uh, stream, influence. Strat. I run this stream, not you. Wait, does Force 13 have permissions? Here? No. Damn it. Um, all right. Um, <laughs> no, King Lucarius, okay. If, if you're confident enough, please get on one of our streams in future and do your me impression. <laughs> but as please for Nelson... Do my me impression. As for Nelson, no, I'm just fucking pissed at you and you can fuck mm -hmm. off. Fuck off. Wait, Sorry no, no, say language. that again. Say Sorry that for again. The language. No, do it again. No, I can't do it again. No, just say it again. I got you, I got you. No, I'm just... That's <laughs> oh, slow. Pissed at you and you can... Off, my <laughs> God. We we don't I'm have editing software or third person to censor us out. We, we do this on the scene. We have a slow connection. That's why. Um, and and then of course you you and then you, you had Craig who used to be on 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 Force Thirteen. Right. I am trying right, not to use my football anger here, and you are right, trying I got, my I, patience. I, I got a I got a Hank here. Um, well, we're looking at a... Force 45 GFS says, running. Strat, you'll be hearing from my lawyer. Well, Nelson's a lawyer, so I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun there. My mom's a lawyer. <laughs> well, not as good as Nelson. All right, all right let's, get, let's get a Hank impression. All right, well, we're going to look at the GFS here. A Hank we're, impression? We're going we're gonna to look at the soundings here. You know, That's way too high pitched to be going. Hank. All right, we're, we're going to look at some of the fundamentals here. Uh, looks like, you know, a lot of interesting factors going in here. Really complex, good. so... Uh, you know, I'm gonna ramble on for the next 15 minutes about this while other questions accumulate. You know, <laughs> I love you, Hank. That wasn't great, Strat. I must say, uh, Devon. <laughs> Why the Patriots win the Super Bowl? God, <laughs> this is this is bull. Oh, I can't believe this. That's Devin. I'm in some mystery call right now. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea who's who I'm speaking to. Whatever he said. Oh, here's another one. No, don't use that harmonica. People hate it. Was my effing sledgehammer. <laughs> or what is it, John? Look at Bonnie go out there. She's never gonna die. When is she gonna die? What's that? No, you, you got that wrong. Who was that? Was John though, right? Was that was that, that, that was Adam McDoom that said Bonnie was never gonna die, and John crossed it out on the stream and said, "It's gone, it's gone." Oh, it's gone, it's gone. Shut up, live John. from Manchester, United Kingdom. You're watching Force Thirteen's Tropical Weather Bulletin. Shut up, John. Shut up, John. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. This guy's a Patriots fan. And okay, you know, no, this is what I say. Patriots. Fan. That's what Donald. Do no, what Strat. do you think about? I don't care. I don't care. Wait, 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 what wait. You... Strat, no, no, hold on. Just stop a minute. Donald might be on one of our future shows, so be nice right, to you know, him. Okay. You know what? What do you think about your team owner, Robert Kraft, right now? You know the the the, the one that, that that caught that caught in a very um compromising situation down in Florida. Did you know what I'm talking about, Nathan? No, I haven't got a clue. This this team's owner is like uh not too great of a dude. He got. Caught in a prostitution sting in Miami. Wonderful. Ban Street. <laughs> That's a new and one. And he sent, and he's like the CEO of a company, and they he, they sent the they sent the stock tumbling over thirty three percent in one day. Crikey. A arrested for ear wrap. <laughs> yeah. I, I can do so. All right, ear wrapping. What the hell is he doing? I'm ear wrapping. Uh. Well... <laughs> We're not far from running out of time here. All right, uh, just one more thing. I want to do 
obviously the most cherished David impression. David is someone who's on Force 13, David Tones, and has the Australian Every accent. Every single day. And uh, I think his voice never really broke. And <laughs> then we get... Well, I think he admitted that himself. And good morning, Strett. Uh, currently on the screen is the latest from the Force 13. And look at this system and possibly the return of Cyclone Omar. Now, Strett, what do you think of this item? Well, babe, it looks like Owen's also there as well. We have no, Owen. No, Will. And it looks like Owen's trying to go at it again in the Coral Sea after crossing over the Gulf of Carpentaria. Going around in circles. Because it's looked to the point. Yes, that's about right. I can't, I'm not going to do that one on there. <laughs> The, the most high-pitched one is David saying, are right, we let's seeing loop the loop We got LMFAO, Drunk Oma, Smiling Faces, Nathan Has Me Dead Laughing. <laughs> that is a great David impression. It's not bad. -O 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 I've done better. A weird face. I've done better. Someone's saying David has a good voice, though. Do the, someone said floppy disk. Floppy disk. You, you've someone... seen the five and a half inch floppy, haven't you? <laughs> the one with the hole. If if a floppy's that if something's that big if a floppy di if a disc is that big when it's floppy how big is it when it's like hardened? <laughs> no, this this ain't the place for that strat. <laughs> I'm moving now, as you can see. Uh, I'm just booting up the piano, booting up the piano. It's an electronic oh, item. Okay, no, we really can't talk like that. There's an eleven chat. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's come on, strat. Book your ideas up. Oh, crikey, mod! I, I no, think I just. I think I just hurt the kid's soul. Yeah, you you'll keep on doing that with 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 Dave. Maybe we will get David on at some point. Oh, do you want to see a painting I made recently? Not really, no. Well, too bad you're gonna see it. Look at this. Too bad. Look at this. What is that? It's a painting I made. All right, folks. Uh, what song would you like me to play on the piano? See if we can take any requests. They want Bippity Bop Electronic Music Track 58. No, we're not going to have Bippity... It's not even called Bippity Bop Electronic Music Track 58. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Someone said, oh my god, just in all caps. What did you think of my painting, guys? Seriously. This is a bit impromptu, setting up the piano here. But I thought we'd give you another live performance, just like we did last week on the recorded show. And as you can see, we fade out the lighting. We have the nice little blue mood Turn on the here. cyclone lamp. Turn on the tornado lamp. Just a minute. I'll turn on the tornado lamp, which is here. The tornado lamp is lovely. Someone said the song I would like you to play is dot 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 hashtag banjo. Someone said my painting's like an eight year old. You know, screw you. That took two weeks to do. Two weeks. Look, you've been seeing updates though. If you're in the Force 13 server, I've actually been making a painting based on Force 13. It's using a lot of our logos along with a. Uh, one of the images from the intro in our um oh, we're not supposed to be talking about force 13 right? no i'm talking about the painting though i'm saying you know i'm taking this painting and it's taken me like three weeks just to do like the first image and i have until may to finish can everyone hear that well how non-dedicated am i to painting not very much because i don't enjoy it particularly much i'd rather be day trading but i needed the credit to graduate people want to hear elevations i haven't actually done that one yet isn't like elevations like the Oh no, wait, uh, I was thinking of elements. No, please, please, please stop that, please. Look, we can't have you doing that, Strat. People don't like it. <laughs> well, I think it's a great job. No, it's wrong. Uh, no, uh, I, I was thinking of elements. But actually, they're actually normal elevations, which is... Oh, I actually not really played that very much. How interesting. But you got a, this, I believe there's, in There's you. not much to it, to be honest. It's just, you know... Oh my god, I'm oh my god. It's just, yeah, it's quiet. It's just... No, it's not that. this as we go along folks so just bear with me
Can you get him to stop? <laughs> Let's do the here and now. Just a minute, I'm turning Strat off. Just a minute. No! Just a minute, folks. Just a minute, folks. I'm turning Strat on to an extremely low level, so the harmonica is just some very faint background noise, okay? I think everyone will be happy now. Strat, it's a joke. What are you doing? No! <laughs> can they hear me? Yeah, they can barely hear you. I put you down to an acceptable no! level. This is getting silly now, Strat. Come on, man. Come on, man. Well, here we go again. It's the here and now. Freezing out all right. There we are. Hey, there you go. How about that? Where's the applause? Oh, there goes Strat. Alright, I've just got to... Uh... Oh, thank you very much. Thank you so much.
Can you, like, go on, like, your face cam and, like, hit a fat dab in celebration? <laughs> no, can I? Hell. What do you take me for? Do that. Come oh, on, man. No, I, I am not. <laughs> Come on, do it. I'll, I'll buy a Force 13 hoodie right now if you do it. I don't care if you buy one or not. You guys, you gotta buy merchandise for me to do a dab. No one... Someone said, ah, oh, my eyes! Yeah. <laughs> you see, that's why I'm not there. <laughs> Nathan, is you Dan, I will never join again. If I dab. Someone wants Bibbidi Pop Electronic Music Track 58, dude. Well, you'll have to wait till next week. Sorry. Just so you guys know, for every new patron or merch purchase, I do one dab. No! Oh my god. Street, strut, strut, oh, throat, the way. IDK, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> hashtag ban. Legacy Force 13 shirt here. Also, I'll throw, I'll throw, uh, this, this is sponsored oh, by god, the Oh god, what is this? This is sponsored by the Tipler New York City. If you want to go to a nice bar during your trip to New York City, head on to Chelsea Market at Union Square and go to the Tipler. It's totally not owned by my cousin. Okay. We're sponsored Strat. now. I just got us a sponsor. Strat, if I go, will I get everything for free? Yeah. Wow, nice, because I might, you know. I'll <laughs> I, I, I'll, I, I'll specifically make sure that you can get your tab paid on the house. Hey, Strat. Yeah? If I'm coming to the U.S. this summer, which I don't know whether I will or not, will you pay for everything? No! <laughs> oh, definitely not! Fool! What do you mean, fool? Fool! You're the fool! Uh, well, uh, somehow we've managed to get through a whole hour already, Strat. That was really fast, actually, and oh. we actually had a decent amount of viewers throughout it as well. Oh, well, viewers, we thank you for putting up Great. with us. Great, Strat doesn't want me to go to New York City anymore. No, dude, you can come to New York City whenever you want, dude. For a whole and hour. How am I a bad... Okay, Force 45, how am I a bad friend? I just offered my friend free drinks in a bar in New York City. <laughs> I love it when they're on my and side. And those drinks typically cost $15 a drink. I love it when they're how on my side. How am I being a bad friend? Strat is going to war with the viewers. Yes. Slapboxing the viewers in a submission. Like the EU is doing to the UK. Sorry? Like the EU is doing to the UK. Well... <laughs> yeah, are they though? Yes! Let's talk about that some other time. Strat equals bad friend. Oh dear. Don't forget. For okay, no, this is actually a crisis. So when my mom cleaned my room for a couple weeks ago without my permission, she moved my flux <laughs> seal somewhere and I haven't been able to find oh, it. Oh, you're kidding me. No, I'm actually dead Just serious. A minute. I don't know where my flex seal is. Your mother cleaned your room? Well, I didn't want her to. Like, I could have cleaned it on myself, but she thought a friend was coming earlier. Oh. And she just like, and she just thought that like she wanted to clean my room to be nice. And apparently she knew my flex story. seal somewhere. A likely dude, I'm story. And I don't know where my flex seal is, dude. It's actually a, really a crisis. <laughs> crisis. <laughs> like also, by the way, um, I actually am doing a flex seal giveaway. No. So um, if you like this video, subscribe to Nathan Foy's channel. Oh, um, boy. and share the video. You will be entered into a flex seal giveaway. Is that what you're doing? That will be revealed next week. Is that during really the what you're event. doing? I I just came up with that on the spot. You but, came you know, up with that on the spot. Well, I hope you can keep to it because I certainly can't. Dude, in the next week, any flex seal purchase is twenty percent off with the code one mil on their website because they reached a million followers on Instagram. You can find us on our Discord channels, Real Strat Becker <laughs> at 6931 and Fool13 extension 9094. You can also find us both on Twitter, at Hoytsfoy, at Real Strat Becker. Strat, it has been a pleasure to have you tonight. It's been a it's pleasure. It's been a pleasure to have you. It's been a pleasure for everyone to be with us for our first ever live event. We're, we're sure to have more soon. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, this was something special, all right. All right, uh, well, that's it for now. We'll see you again soon, and hopefully in a minute there'll be some imagery that appears on the screen as we segue out of this. I don't know how All this right. is going to work. We just stay you on the air a... till, till we stop appearing on the air. Have a good night, everyone, and enjoy these papers.
good lord, not those papers again. Dude, there's like at least 50 of these in here. Right. Like, look at this fat stack of papers. I have my W-2 in here too, I have my tax bill You here. guys can think of a new hashtag for next week, something to do with strat. We'd be really happy to promote it. We're going offline now, see you again soon, good night. Take care.